Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. In today's video, we are going to talk about how we can use MLflow to deploy multiple models to a single serving endpoint. So the use case could be something like this. Let's say that we're working on a machine learning project and this project has, or let's say machine learning application, and this application has multiple models. So instead of uh, deploying uh, each model to a different uh, endpoint, or, we are going to deploy all those models to a single server endpoint because maybe having multiple endpoints might cause some overload in the server. So let's let me share my screen. Uh, let me go you to the code that I have written for this video. Um, this is the, the script, and here the key component that I want to show you is this class, custom model, in which I am using a um, Python model. So meaning the we are going to log this model using the Python flavor, um, which makes sense because this is a custom uh, model, right? So in here, there are three methods, predict model one, predict model two, and predict model three. And they are going to fulfill this role of different models. So each method takes the model input and does something with the model input and returns an output, right? And here, for example, I have written in a comment uh, do some pre-processing or processing with the model. So maybe inside the function, inside this method, maybe we want to do some pre-processing with the model input or maybe something with the model itself. But this is something that I am not developing here because this is more like, this is more like a dummy uh, use case. I only want to show you the, let's say, MLflow capability. Then we have this uh, predict um, method, which is the one that I need uh, to create a custom model using the Python flavor. And here we are using a parameter called model name. Um, with this model name parameter, we can basically decide which model uh, use, right? So if model name is equal to model one, we are going to get predictions using the model one, using the method called predict model one. Um, okay, that's basically everything. Um, the main idea is that this custom model will be a wrapper for all the models that we may have in our application. So let's keep going. Here we are creating an experiment. Then we are creating a schema. And this is, again, also something very important because here we are using a parameter, right? Uh, and we need to pass this parameter somewhere. And to do so, we are defining uh, here using parameter specification. We are defining the parameter using model name as a name. Um, the data type is a string and default is known. So let me show you how this uh, model signature looks like. So if I run this code, um, Sorry, it was, just leave me a sec. So here we have, we have um, inputs, my column called input, outputs, and the parents. So let's keep going. Now here, we are starting um, a new MLflow run and it's called multiple models. And the experiment ID is this, right? The one that we can get from this function. Um, then we are logging the model, as I mentioned before, using Python flavor. We are specifying the artifact path as a model. The Python model is an instance of the class that I just uh, talked about. And the signature, well, the model signature that I just showed you. Then here we are loading the model again, and let's let's get some predictions. Let's do something like this for and since we have three models, let's do something like this, right? And let's do print model load loaded model dot predict, right? And data equals to let's say input, right? And this is going to be something like. Uh, Something like this, right? In this is to handle the tights, the data tights, 
uh, let's say that I want to pass this number 10, right? Um, in addition to this, I have to pass parents, right? And as a parent, I have model name, model name, then uh, the model name is going to be something like model, something like this, right? So we can choose between model 1, 2, and 3. And now, just, just for, let's say, print prediction from model. So we have something like this, and let's do it. Let's run this code and see what happens. Python. Okay. Um, the first model is returning zero. The second model, 10, the same value. Um, the, the last model is 20, the double, which is okay. Now, let's do something else. Let's deploy this model to a single serving endpoint. Remember that that is the purpose of this um, video. And MLflow offers us um, a server, a local server, in which we can deploy models, right? So let's use that local server to deploy this model. And to do so, we can use something like this, MLflow. Let's use this command, MLflow, um, models, server, serve, and then, then we pass the model URI, which is something like runs, the run ID, which is here, right? Then we have the path, which is model, right? Um, it's basically the same thing that we, we can see here. Then let's pass this parameter of Conda because we are not using a Conda environment right now. And let's deploy the model. Okay. It seems that it's being deployed. Yes, it's done. Now let's get predictions from the model. We can use this endpoint, which is my local machine, to get predictions from the models that, or the model that I have deployed. So I'm going to use this uh, script to explain, to talk about that. So here we are creating the payload data, this dictionary, and in here we are passing the input, right? Um, the columns is input, right? And the data is 15, right? So in this case, I'm going to drag with 15. Let's say that I, I want to drag with 15. Now, this is the endpoint that MLflow offers to get predictions uh, from the server, from the local server. Um, it has to end with invocations. Then I'm using request, popular Python library to make post, make the request, API request, and use that endpoint, right? Um, now let's run this code and see what happens. I'm going to do something like this. Python uh, 20 online inference. Okay. Here in the parents um, field, you can see that as a model name, I'm passing model two. And model two is returning the same value, right? Uh, we can see here that model two, predict model two, it's just returning the input. But let's try with model, predict model three. This is going to double the number, right? So let's copy here, model three, right? And let's get the prediction. As you can see, it's the double. Now let's say that I want to get zero. Well, in that case, I have to use the first model, model one, right? Input zero. So as you can see, okay, we have shown how we can use MLflow to deploy multiple models, in this case three, in this case three to a single serving endpoint, this one. So maybe in another video, we are going to, let's say, explore a more real scenario because this might be too simplistic, too easy maybe. But maybe we can talk about using real data, um, a use case in which I need more data or something like that. So that was everything for this video. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you the next time.